I call it three anchors. When you're sitting, it really is the anchor for your spine. It's what the whole spine's gonna sit up on. So just sit with your feet flat and your knees bent at 90 degrees and let's try to find our three anchors. So if you pull your right inner thigh to your left and your left inner thigh to your right. And now find your sit bones. Pull your right and left sit bone together. And now we'll try to make an X. Pull left inner thigh to right sit bone and right inner thigh to left sit bone. And that should give you like a pretty good base. Like you should feel really connected. Like the, the sit bones are pulling together, the inner thighs are pulling to the sit bones. That whole thing is lifting up into the low abdominals. That's what we call the pelvic floor or the three ankles. So I'm gonna release everything, take an inhale to prepare. And then on an exhale, I'm gonna connect sit bone, inner thigh, inner thigh, sit bone, and lift that net up into my low abdominals. And then inhale to release. Let's do that same attachment three more times. I just wanna be sure we can find it really good during every exercise. Inner thigh, sit bone, sit bone, inner thigh, lift it up. And release. And last time, little nip with that three anchors lifting up. It provides a base for the entire abdominal wall to lift up, to lift up your spine, to go out the top of your head. Now let's do it and think about the Pilates breathing into the back. You can even put your hands on the back of your ribs, attach your three anchors, and then inhale, try to expand your hands, expand the back of the ribs, and exhale, shrink the bottom of the rib cage. Attach the three anchors, shrink the bottom of the rib cage, expand the back of the ribs to inhale, and exhale. Just one more time. Three anchors, lifts everything up, lifts the whole spine up tall, and you breathe into the back of your ribs. All right, let's try to keep all that connection with the towel under your feet, or if you have socks on, you don't even need a towel. Just bring your feet to a little Pilates V. Your, look, yeah, your, <laughs> Your uh, Pilates V and your knees no wider than your hips, so we don't want them out real wide. Am I close enough? Can you guys see me? I can't tell. Okay, all right. And then lift up. So we're gonna do footwork just like you would on the reformer. So with a lifted heel holding the Pilates V, find those three anchors, find your height, and let's just go out and in. Out and in. And out and in. I hope you feel stable on your bench. Does anybody feel unstable, like we should be doing this on the mat instead? Okay, all right. Let's do five more. Really keep those three anchors connected. Pilates V, spread your toes out as much as you can. Last one. Now for arches, we'll just turn parallel, and we're gonna try to keep your whole foot on the ground. Find the three anchors, and as you slide your feet out together, try to keep the balls of the feet down, and then pull it back in. So it's a stretch for the top of your foot, and we'll do eight, and pull. Lifting from the inner thighs. for five. Last two, last one, and then we'll go into heels. So put your heels down, strong dorsiflexion, try to lift your toes, and we go out, and in, and out, and in. Watch what your pelvis is doing. When you're sitting, there can be a tendency to tip the pelvis forward or back. So just try to stay right on top of it. The three anchors will help you do that. 
Let's go four and three and two and one. Bring it in. For tendon stretch, we're just going to point and flex the feet. So go back out and let's point and then try to work through every part of your foot through the arch, through the ball of the foot, through all of the toes, stretch. And then the toes pull back, the balls of your feet pull back, the heels reach away, stretch. Let's go five more times up to tempo. And point, and flex. Reach the top of the foot, reach the back of the leg. Last one. Now we get to do the hundred. So if you feel a little scared <laughs> to lay back on your bench, I understand, just lay on the floor. Let's roll onto our back and take our knees with us. <sighs> Reach your legs out, or you can just leave them in here. Stay on your knot and curl up to the tips of your shoulder blades. Even here, find your three anchors. <sighs> It'll really help that abdominal connection. <sighs> Make sure your tail's heavy, not curling up, yeah? And we go, pump the arms vigorously, like you're gonna fan a flame. Breathe in for five pumps. Breathe out for five pumps. And in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And out. You can do your hundred here. <laughs> Just to show there's lots of options. I'm going to come back. And just about when you start hating life, you know you're at 80 or 90. <laughs> so let's do one more set. Pull your knees in and lower your head to your bench. And I'm gonna give them a tight hug. Let my tail curl up. All right. Now let's pretend we're gonna do reach and pull. So normally if you're on your reformer, you'd have the straps in your hands and you'd have that resistance to pull down. Well, we don't have that. <laughs> we're gonna create our own resistance with our bodies. So bring your fingers together, nice Pilates hands, and your knees can just be resting, or for a little more challenge, you can send them out. And then let's reach the fingers away, and then pull them back up to the ceiling, and reach, and pull, and reach, and pull. My three anchors are still connecting, lifting up into my bottom ribs, keeping the entire powerhouse strong and stable. Let's do two more. And pull, and reach, and pull. Now we go into arm circles. Arms out wide to the side, palms of the hands facing the wall. Bring them down by your hips, palms face your hips. Flip them over, palms face the wall again. And let me just make circles. And down, hands over shoulders, hands wide, hands to hips. And up, and circle. Let's smooth out the edges of our circles for four. And three. Pulling the center of my powerhouse into my ottoman. <laughs> Last one. And we reverse, press down, reach out side to side and lift them up over, down, and out, and up, for three, and two, last one. We're gonna go right into tricep press, find the three anchors again, really squeeze the inner thighs, and we just lift them up and reach them out, and lift it up and press it down. Imagine your straps in your hands and that resistance. Create the resistance with your brain. <laughs> last two, last one. All right, take a little rest for your knees. 
I'm gonna turn my head to the right. Try and relax my neck and jaw for a minute. Turn my head to the left. Relax. All right, and here normally we would go into frogs and in circles. We're doing kind of a level one-ish, two-ish reformer. So find your tabletop. Knees reach away a little bit. Again, no wider than your hips in your Pilates V. So my heels are together, my toes are apart. And I'm imagining the straps on my feet and I'm just gonna frog it out. Frog. Three anchors. As my feet go out, the three anchors pull up. See? Opposition. Let's go for four. And three. Squeeze those heels together. Two. Last one. Leave them out. Let's go into our little circles. Circle. For two. And four. We're going for eight. And then we reverse for eight. You can make these little. And now pull your knees in, give them one more hug. And let's rock up to sitting on the end of our bench. All right, we'll just do a little uh, rowing series and we'll just do two of the exercises. So again, let's just sit up, have your feet on the floor at 90, find the three anchors. And let's go into shave the head. I'm gonna lose a layer. It's working, I'm getting hot. <laughs> All right, so normally you're sitting cross-legged on the reformer, but I know also that's really hard for people to do. So here's the time when you, you don't have to deal with the whole hips being open. Bring your hands into a diamond, reach it up, and then if you can get behind your head without dipping your neck or leaning too far forward, let's go for that. Otherwise, you'll open up the diamond and it'll just be beside your ears. Three anchors are in and up. And we go, pull it down, shoulder blades pulling down the back, and reach it up. And pull it down, and reach it up. And pull it down, elbows wide, shoulder blades slide down. This is very hard for the tight chested like me. Let's do two more. Last one. And then bring your hands in front of you. We're gonna go right into hug a tree. You want this tree to be as big as possible, like you almost can't reach around it. So we close, we open, your elbows are high, and then you close. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. For three. Last one, hug that gigantic conifer <laughs> and bring your arms down. We're gonna go into some prone work. Again, if this isn't comfortable on your piano bench, feel free to lie on a mat on the floor. Let's just go into a little swan. So flip over on your tummy. And I'm actually gonna put my hands on the floor. I, I tried it this way and with my hands underneath me. My ottoman's the perfect height where um, I can get a little bit of extension, but really focus on length. But if you like, you can also just have your hands under you, whatever you like, all right? Okay. And first, let's just think about being long. So I'm squeezing my three anchors, inner thighs together. I'm pulling it up into my low abdominals. I'm gonna make sure the back of my head is in line with the rest of my spine, not down, not up. Hi, Stella. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make a nice long line. And then I'm pressing my triceps into the ottoman, like I'm gonna pull my body through my triceps, through my hands. And then I'm gonna release and come down for a second. And I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna inhale, try to pull my body through my hands, trying to keep the back of my neck long. And just squeeze my shoulder blades together and I'm trying to reach the sternum out and across the room. And then come down. 
And let's go one more time. Body is long and lean, zipped up, wrapped, reaching across the room, and come down. Now we're gonna uh, approximate a pulling straps situation. <laughs> so here we go. Normally we would go pulling straps down and we're just gonna do that. So we've warmed up with a little swan, find that shape again, let your head float in line with your spine. Let's make fists like you're holding onto your straps and let's just go back and up. Just reach them back. Three anchors lifting up as my head reaches out. Just one more like this. And let's take a little rest. And now we're going for pulling straps too. Your arms should be, if this bench that you're on went all the way across, they would hover just above the bench. So here we go. You start out in a T like a Thunderbird and you press it back and pull back. As my hands pull back, my three anchors are lifting up in opposition for three more. And two. Last one. All right. And let's sit back and take a little rest position. All right, now we're gonna skip backstroke and teaser today for our long box. Let's go right into short box. Sit on the edge again. So we don't have any foot strap that the reformer has to help us. So we won't go as far, but just imagine we're doing our regular short box. Cross your arms round in front of you and then find your lifted C curve. So three anchors are the base and then they lift up and you round forward. And we're just gonna curl back and up. Let's do six and up. Try not to sit back into the lumbar. Think of reaching it out. Three more. Two more. Last one. All right, and let's go into our flat back. I'm gonna bend my knees for this one. Why not put my hands just in front of my shoulders and let's just flat back. Use your three anchors to stabilize you and come up and flat. Just hinging at the hip, reaching out the crown of the head. Three anchors lifting the whole spine out long. Last two. Last one. And now let's go for our side side. Uh, if you don't normally take the <laughs> classic reformer with me, side to side is just an arch up and over. And you're going to stretch this side body and then arch up and over. All right, let's go for four each side. Finding the three anchors to lift us tall, pressing my heels into the ground. I'm going to go up and to the right and slightly in front of me and come center. Exhale, both sides of the ribcage stay long and inhale. Exhale over. Inhale up. Try to pull your shoulders down your back as you, even as you reach tall. Last one each side. And now we'll go for a twist. Ground those three anchors. Let your shoulder blades fall. Rotate from the waist. And just reach back a little bit. And then rotate from the waist and reach back a little bit. And rotate and hinge. And twist and hinge. And twist and hinge. Last one, twist and hinge. Ah, oh, bring your arms down. Let's just go over our knees and just let your neck relax. All right, tree front. Put both hands behind your right thigh. If you're very flexy, you can get your forearm behind the thigh. It's perfectly fine just to have it way out here. 
Lift your elbows high, wherever they are. And let's pump the leg three times. Ah, let's pump the leg five times, because this feels good. <laughs> That's three. And four. Warming up the hamstring. I'm gonna keep it up. Walk your hands up to your ankle. Find your beautiful lifted C curve, and let's just roll back onto your bench. Just to the tips of your shoulder blades and take a stretch. And if you need to bend your knee to come up, please do so. Otherwise, just roll up to sitting. <laughs> That's a hard one to talk through. And bring the leg down. Let's take a figure four stretch, actually. Set your right knee on your left ankle. Bring your hands to the side of your bench. And just go out and over. One more breath. Oh, I needed that one. And let's go tree the other side. Hold behind your left thigh, wherever you can. No pressure. All right, let's pump the leg five times. It's a stretch. Lift this. Don't let it sink as the leg goes up. Sure is what your body wants to do. Don't let it. Last one. Walk your hands up to your ankle, and let's just roll back and take our stretch. And let's roll up and just bring your foot right over your knee for your figure four stretch. Hands on the side of your bench. Go out. My three anchors are heavy and the rest of my spine is just heavy in the other direction. All right. Side sit-ups we go. I'm gonna send one leg out long, just like it was under the strap. The other one's in front of me. Let's put our hands behind our head, and we'll start sitting up really nice and tall. <sighs> Pulling my tummy back, and let's just go out and up. Out and over and up. We're gonna do six. <sighs> Last two. Last one, I'm gonna lean all the way over on my bench and take a nice side stretch. And now I'm gonna rotate my shoulders and give myself a little twist. And then I'm gonna unrotate. Let's do one more side setup to come up and change sides. So now my right leg, the inside of my soles on the floor is parallel. I'm going to put my hands behind my head, find my three anchors, and go out and over. And two. And three. Last two. Last one. And now I'm going to stretch my arm out on the bench. Long arm overhead, big side stretch. And then rotate my shoulders. Put my forehead on my bench. And I'm going to unrotate, come back square, and sit up. Ah, short box. We're going to try to do a version of long stretch. It's, it's kind of challenging with no reformer. <laughs> I won't lie, but I'm going to stand on my towel with my feet in Pilates V, or sorry, long stretch series, so we're actually going to start with elephant. All right, and I'm standing, I don't know, a foot away from my bench, and I'm going to put my hands on it with my feet in Pilates V, and we're just going to try to elephant, obviously we don't have a reformer to slide in and out. But what I'm going to do instead is lift those three anchors up, and this will be the highest point. I'm just trying to round my back like an elephant's back. And I'm just going to lift into that shape for a minute, trying to make it better, trying to lift my three anchors up. 
trying to slide my shoulders onto my back. Ooh, that's better. And now I'll take my right foot and just float it behind me and press for five. Just five little presses, trying to keep your back round. Bring that foot back. Now let's do the left. Find your nice lifted round to keep it as you press that left foot back five times. Let's go to the right again. Nice lifted round. Pulling my shoulders away from my ears. In this case, my ears away from my shoulders and pump it back for five. We'll lift the tummy more. And now let's do the left. Nice and round for five. Oddly difficult, yes? <laughs> We're gonna try for a version of a traditional long stretch. This is just gonna be more like a plank on your bench. So with your hands down and your feet in Pilates V on your towel or in your socks, let's just slide out to plank. And let's just hold it for three breath cycles. Three anchors lifting up, shoulders open and down. and then come back up. I'm gonna reach back and just stretch a little bit. We're gonna go for a version of arabesque. I don't have enough room behind me, so I'm just gonna scoot my bench real quick. All right. Again, our feet aren't gonna slide. They're gonna stay. Let's turn parallel. Toes facing straight front and back. Let's lean down and put our hands on the bench. And let's be on a flat back, back of your head in line with the rest of your spine. Hips and shoulders square, find that first. Now send your right leg straight back in parallel, trying to keep your hip bones square to the ground. Again, no sliding reformer, so instead, we're gonna pump the leg, try to find this levelness here. I have no mirror, I'm sure I'm not level. Let's pump the leg up five times. Five, four, three. Length head to spine. Come down, and let's go to the other side. Pump it up for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Right leg again, hips square, shoulders square. Try not to lean too much on your left side. And we go five, three. Carefully bring it down. And the left for the last time. Square, long, strong spine for five. And three, and one. Bring that foot down. And let's just fold over and take a hamstring stretch. And a nice roll up. And sit down, let's go to stomach massage. Feet on the towel. We'll start with stomach massage round. So I'm gonna press my hands into the sides of my bench, find my three anchors, find my lifted C curve. I'm gonna lift my heels up in Pilates V and make sure my knees are no wider than my hips. Press your feet out. Flex and point and pull your feet in. Go out and flex and point, pull it in. Keep those knees narrow. Flex and point, pull it in. Lift your seat curve a little more. And out, flex and point, pull it in. Last two and flex, and point, pull it in. Last one, and flex, and point, pull it in. I'm gonna have the cleanest place on the floor underneath this towel. <laughs> All right, for hands back. You know, normally your hands would be on the shoulder blocks of the reformer. Not today. <laughs> All right, feet are still in Pilates V. Chest is open, three anchors lifting up, nice flat tummy, same thing. We go out and flex 
and point, pull it in. Let's go fast and flex. Point, pull it in. For three. For two. Last one. And now we go to reaching. I'm gonna fix my towel. Bring your arms just above the shoulders. Pull your shoulders onto your back. There's no flex point on this. Let's just think about the three anchors lifting you up. And let's just go out and in and out and in. For four and three. Last two. Last one. Now we go to twist. Legs go out. Look behind you as you open up and reach away and come back. Other side. Reach up and in. And twist. And reach your hands away from each other. Let's go for two more. This is the last one each side. I'm gonna hold and twist a little more and come in. And the last one, reach a little more and come in. That felt good. Now we need a tendon stretch. So again, we're just gonna lean over, put your hands on the floor, try to straighten your legs. And I'm lifting my toes. I'm gonna walk my hands forward a little bit with my toes lifted. I'm gonna find my nice lifted round back like an elephant. Still trying to lift my toes. Still trying to reach my heels for the ground. All right. For semicircle today, we're just gonna do a little bridging on the ground. So now, Turn your towel or washcloths or mat or you can lay your back on it. I can't tell if you can see me. I think you can. Let me pin my video. Hold on. By the time the world is back to normal, I will have figured out how Zoom works. <laughs> All right, let's lie on your back and put your feet on your bench. All right. And I'm going to bring my arches to the edge of my bench, or you can have your heels on the bench if that feels more stable. So semicircle is all about spinal articulation, and that's what we're going to do. So let's just curl from the tail up. And then roll down. We're gonna do that five more times. Just a really nice bridge. In this bridge position, can you find your three anchors? Articulating the spine, bone by bone by bone, and then down. You're getting a hammy cramp, just reach that leg up to the ceiling. Two more. And then last one. And let's do take a hammy stretch. With your foot flex, just pull it towards you. Try to get into the knee of that hamstring and let's do the other one all right come on up you can tease her up if you want to be super fancy all right chest expansion on your bench on the floor standing Wherever you want to do it. We don't have any straps to pull, so I'll just stand. And again, we're going to use our whole body. And as I go back, we are going to add the head looks. And I'm also going to add a rise of the toes after the first one. All right, so heavy, heavy pink hands in your hand. Just 
tips of the collarbones reaching away from each other. And we inhale to go back. And look right, look left, look center, exhale. Find your three anchors. Inhale back. Look left, look right, look center, exhale. And inhale back. Look, 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 return. Last one. And look, and look, and look, return. For thigh stretch today, I am gonna be on my bench because it's padded. If your bench isn't padded, just sit on your mat on the floor. I'll just do that anyway, because I know you're all on piano benches and they're not padded. All right. And we'll just do a thigh stretch. I'm gonna reach my arms in front to counterweight. Oh, how I wish I had some straps. <laughs> and we'll just hinge back at the knees, lift the three anchors up, and then come up. Don't need many of these, let's just do two more. And last one. On my last one, let's sit your booty down, lean forward. I'm gonna put my hands down behind me, see how far I need to go, with my fingers facing my body. And now let's just lift the hips up. Don't throw your chin back too far, stay looking down. And then let's come down. Pretty close approximation of thigh stretch, I guess. <laughs> All right, lie on your bench or your mat. Let's corkscrew, just roll down. Send your legs up to the ceiling. Find your three anchors and let's circle right around and left and up. Reverse left and down and right and up. Let's keep going, four more in each direction. And three. I'm gonna bring my hands behind me and hold onto the edge of my bench. It feels a little more like regular reformer corkscrew. And circle, let's try to make it big. Bring my hands behind me really helped with that. And circle. Last one each direction. Last one, last one. Bend your knees and give them a hug. Let's roll up to sitting. We'll try to do a little version of our splits and lunges. All right, right foot on your bench and bring your hands onto your bench just like your hand was on the foot bar of the reformer. I'm gonna try to keep my left heel down and I'm gonna slide it out. Stay in control here. Don't give up your stability or strength. And I'm gonna lean further over. My knees are past my toes. And then I'm gonna pull the back leg in. And let's go again. Slide the back leg, back leg out, trying to keep the heel down. And then as I feel like I'm going a little too far, I'll bring my weight more over my front foot. I'm gonna let my back heel come up. And then I'm gonna pull myself in. We'll just do it one more time. Try to keep the back heel down as long as you can. Stretch the back chain of your leg. When it has to come up, my heel will come up and I'll bring my weight more forward. Are you finding a stretch in your hip flexor? I sure hope so. If not, tip your pelvis back a little bit. And then I'm gonna come in. Let's do the other side. Left foot on, right foot down, reaching my heel along the floor. And when it has to come up, it'll come up and I'll start to bring my weight more over my front leg. I'll come in two more times. Heel down as long as it can be. Abs engaged. And then weight a little more over the front leg and into your hip flexor stretch. Curl and come in. Last time, reach the heel away. Lift your abs. 
And then go into your hip flexor stretch, way over the front foot. Lift your chest. Drag it in. Very good. All right, and let's just finish with a little activation. I'm just gonna stand with my feet together. Let's find those three anchors again. I hope that you can find them throughout your day. So here we go, start at the heels, inner thighs, and we're just gonna lift all the way up the points of our body. Oh, squeeze the heels, lift the inner thighs, squeeze the sit bones, tummy goes flat, ribs funnel down, head reaches up. So many directions. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you liked Reformer with a towel. <laughs> If you enjoyed the class, please do consider a small Venmo donation as possible, not necessary, to at movement-center-one.